let me check to make sure this is running because I've been known to talk to the camera before it actually before it actually records and I don't want to do that because it makes me mad. But today I'm gonna be doing a video. It's a 30 question tag from Miss Honey K1020. And I was just watching the video so I could write down all the questions. And I think I only have 29, but I don't know, because I didn't number them when I was writing them. And I don't like numbers anyway, and so it might be 29, but oh well. Question number one is, do you have any pets? And yes, I do. I have two doggies. One is, oh, I have three turtles too. But my pretty much my dad takes care of the dogs, and my mom takes care of the turtles. But um, yeah, the dogs, there's one pit bull, and one is a lab, black Labrador retriever mixed with a chow chow. Yeah. And three turtles, there used to be six of them, but three of them died. Because we've had them since... 1999. And I used to have a little pug. Rara, I miss her. But it's a long story. <laughs> um, so, question number two is what color top are you wearing? As you can see, my top is black. <laughs> and I have some white writing on it because I stole this top from my cousin. Well, actually, I didn't steal it, but she just decided one day that she didn't want it, like last week. And so I took it and I wore it to the gym. Okay, so three things that are physically close to you. Hmm, my key. See my monkeys? I like monkeys. Mono, mono, mono. Ooh, this one's dirty. But yeah, this one's got a little banana. I know, they're crazy. My brother gave me these random things. I don't know. So, ooh. And a mini little Bible. Psalms and Proverbs. And some -na 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 -na. Oh, I have a lot of things close to me or whatever. Let me just, this little juicy tube from Lancome that I got for free when I went to buy my magazine. And I just grabbed it and put it on, so my lips will be juicy for this video. <laughs> I'm really hyper right now. Ooh, I'm picking my boogers. All right. <laughs> um, what is the weather like right now? Well, right now it is like 90 degrees outside because the weather out here is crazy. Because it was like 50 or 60 degrees yesterday, but all of a sudden I woke up this morning and my cousin's telling me that it's 92 degrees. So maybe not still 90, but it's at least like 80 something. I don't know. It's really hot, and the weather here is crazy. It'll probably be freezing tomorrow. So yeah. What time did you wake up this morning? Um, this morning. I actually didn't wake up in the morning, but in the afternoon, because I went out Wednesday night. I know, I'm being bad. But I went out Wednesday night, and I was out till like, maybe 3 in the morning, and I came back, and I went to sleep in my cousin's room downstairs, and I woke up, like, 10 o'clock, I was up and ready to go, and studying, and all that good stuff, because I was trying to be a good girl, and of course, by like, midnight rolled around, and I was like, knocked out. So, I don't know what happened, but I actually didn't wake up, like, really, really get up, so almost 1 o'clock this afternoon. So yeah, <clears throat> I think I need some water. Um, 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 do you drive? And if so, have you crashed? Yes, I do drive. Um, I don't have my own car, sadly. But um, my last job required me to drive a lot because I worked with the homeless, and so we would go to the different subway stations and talk to them, and we would like transport them to different places, like the hospital and shelter and stuff that we need to go. So I finally learned how to drive around New York City. Um, and yeah, I did kind of sort of crash. Um, and um, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> it was this big bus, this big like tour bus thing. And I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but like they have these lights on the side, kind of like that just kind of sit on the side. Like you ever see a UPS truck? Like their lights in the back are not like just normal. They also have those little kind of like look. They, I don't know. They remind me of bicycles for some reason. <laughs> but like they have those lights on the side. And, um, so the thing I drove, I drove a Sprinter. I don't know if you've ever seen what a Sprinter looks like, but look up a Dodge Sprinter. And it has these big old mirrors that stick out of the side, but we could, like, push them in and stuff. So I was driving, and I was trying to move into the right lane, and then this big tour bus was, like, speeding up behind me. So I was, like, turning around to try to see if, you know, I could move into the lane, and I started to, like, slow down. Before I went, before I knew it, the bus just went, boom. So the mirror was pushed in, and then the light popped off, and the guy was really pissed off. And, ugh. I mean, at least now I know that I'm never going to give my license unless the police, because, ugh, whatever. That was just a weird story. And, but basically, the guy the guy got out, and he's like, let me see your license and registration, and then, because, like, the company I worked for there didn't have the most updated registration in the glove compartment. They had, like, one from 2008, so he had to wait for the police to come anyway, because he refused to give his information until we called the police, and then later my boss was like, um, in the future, no matter what you get into, always call the police, and now I know. Okay, I know, I was just talking a lot, and I was talking really fast. But, um, what was the last movie you saw? Well, the last movie I saw was, before I fell asleep, I started to watch The Grudge last night with my cousin, which is 
creepy. It's a creepy movie. But um, something happened because she was watching it through Netflix and she hooked it up to her TV. And then um, it was buffering, so she tried to like stop it to let it buffer. But I fell asleep while she was troubleshooting, so we didn't finish watching it. And um, the last movie I saw in the theater was The Takers. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, and Ti's role in that movie was really sad. That's, that was my going away impression. And by the way, Chris Brown gets hit by a car like 20 times in that movie, but I guess I shouldn't have told you that. Oops. Um, <laughs> So, what does your last text message say? Mm. Oh, I had a new one. And it says, I'm actually sad old man avoided me. Aww. It's okay. Um, what's your ringtone? Here, I'll play it for you. Hmm. Uh, ring tone, ring tone, ring tone, ring tone. It's the, my nose is really itchy. I'm going to play it for you right now. Mm. Where's it go? Oh, oh, right here, right here, this one. Oh, wanna see you, baby, wanna see you, baby. But that's my ringtone for whoever I haven't assigned a ringtone to yet. And that's Jocelyn Lavoe and Carry Me, one of my favorite Asian bands. And I just like the song. So. Um, have you ever been to another country? Yes, I have been to another country. And the first time I ever went to another country was when I went to Ecuador in May of 2009. And I was really, really excited because I, I went with all my classmates. And we rotated through the hospital, um, this hospital called um, Eugenio Espejo. And I did three days in trauma and three days in internal medicine and three days in surgery. And I got to see brain surgery, two brain surgeries. And I took pictures, so it was really exciting. Um, and before that, though, like the first time I ever really traveled by myself without my parents and I was playing in Flue was when I went to Puerto Rico, but I know Puerto Rico is not really called in the country here. But, what did I say here? It's just, yeah, here, duh, because it's part of the U.S. <laughs> but, um, and also last summer for the first time I went to Canada. I went to Montreal, Montreal, <laughs> with my parents. So that was fun, and I want to go back someday. Do you like sushi? Oh, I got another text message. <gasps> She's drunk. Oh my goodness, it's 9.46 p.m. Well, I can't say nothing because at this time on Wednesday I was too. Oops. All right. Aww. Oh, sushi. Yeah, um, I like sushi. I ate it for the first time in college, and I like California rolls. Um, I first I thought it was sushi. Like I don't want to eat raw fish, but um, then I found out that it's not all raw fish, so it was good. Yeah. Oops. I just. Here the, the heard the door over. I hope so. Where I hope well, uh, there's probably someone just sitting on my toilet listening to me blabber blabber blabber. But anyway, um, yeah. And then recently, a couple weeks ago, one of my friends made me eat eel, which I never thought I would like, but it was like nice and cooked and it tasted good, so I liked it. And that's it. Okay, where do you buy your groceries? Well, usually groceries. My mom would buy me groceries from BJ's. Um, she switched over to BJ's. She used to go to Costco. She buy like lots and lots of chicken and veggies and stuff. Um, but other than that, for little stuff, we just go to like the local little grocery store, which is um, But lately, these days, now that I'm up here, Price Chopper, if you know what that is. Mm. Alright, um, ever taken med medicine to help you fall asleep? Aw. Okay, good. Um, so, medicine, no driving for her. That's right, don't drive when you're drunk. But no, I've never taken medicine to help me fall asleep. But au contraire, um, not that I've taken, actually I did, I took caffeine pills once to help me stay awake. I only tried it once in like third year because I really had a lot of stuff to do. I had a lot of papers to write and I don't know, I didn't really know if it helped. I mean, I feel like when I did take it, I was awake, but it was very non-productive energy. Like I was just up like, kind of like I am right now, but I wasn't doing any schoolwork. But aside from that, you know, energy drinks, um, I would drink Monster, which was so messed up my stomach. Ugh, I don't know why. I kept drinking it, but it kept me awake. So, I'm Red Bull. Actually, Red Bull, I could drink Red Bull and go right to sleep. But anyway, um, how many siblings do you have? I have two siblings. I have two older brothers. One of them is 28. Oh, it's getting hard to remember. 
And the other one is 27. And I'm the only girl, and I'm the youngest. Um, da -da -da. Do you have a desktop or a laptop? I have a laptop, and here it is. Oh, it's like Dell and Spiron. And there is Honey K. Woo -woo. <laughs> All right. Um, I dropped my paper. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Um, where am I? Oh, how old will you be turning on your next birthday? Like I said, I'm the youngest, and I'm going to be turning 24 on my next birthday. And I can't believe it, you know, like, I still have to think about how old I am. Like, oh, how old are you? 23. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know, I feel old. I guess, um, kind of old. I guess I'm not that old. I don't know. I have a lot of things to do before I get even older. All right. I have uh, age anxiety issues. <laughs> And by the way, my birthday's in April and in October. Woo -woo. Um, and my one of my best friends is drunk texting me. She's spending a night in New York. That is great. No driving for you, Missy. Okay. <laughs> so, um, mm, how did your parents pick your name? So, I heard that my dad picked my name too. Um, and apparently there was some singer that had my name and that he liked and so he named me after that singer so um same thing with you Carrie <laughs> um I don't know what it is with Caribbean dads naming their kids after famous people they like <laughs> but yeah so do you wear contacts or glasses no I don't wear either I'm actually the only person in my house who doesn't wear glasses it's weird um do you color your hair not since I chopped it off <laughs> last month. So, actually, the last time I ever colored my hair, I put these red, bright red streaks in it. In it, and um, that was in October 2008. I was going through something. It was like out of the box, I dye. And it was just bright red in the front. It was like I was freaked out because I was supposed to be going on interviews and stuff, and I didn't expect it to actually work. It's like this L'Oreal like dye, and they said, oh, it really works. And I was like, um, yeah, right. So I put it like just randomly, like these streaks in my hair. And I had this huge patch of bright red hair here, and I really needed a perm then too, so I was all like, freaked out about my hair because I shouldn't have been messing with it like that. But like up to last. Up to, I, up to when I chopped my hair off, it was still like in the ends of my hair, like it was in my hair forever. It was just faded, like more brownish, whatever. Wow, I'm talking a lot right now. Um, man, I guess the gym really does give me energy. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, I haven't colored my hair since I chopped it off, but I don't know, maybe I'll like, I might put some highlights in it or something later down the line, but I think I just want to be nice to my hair right now. So something you're planning to do today. Well, it's already 10 o'clock, but I am going to go to Philadelphia. I'm leaving on, I'm getting on the bus at 3.35 in the morning, and maybe I'm giving too much information now, so I don't know, but it's too late. So yeah, and I'm going to go and go to Philadelphia, because I'm going to go. Alright, so the last time I cried, last time you cried, I don't remember. I'm so distracted by sending this text message. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> so last time I cried, I don't really remember very well. Let me make sure this is still running, because I'm talking a lot. Okay, good. Oh, no, it's way too long. I've been talking for 17 minutes. <gasps> oh, my goodness. All right, I'm going to have to edit that. Um, uh, the last time I cried, I don't know, but I funny thing about me is I actually cry every single time I laugh. Like, when I laugh really hard, tears fall out of my eyes. Okay, what is your full name? Well, my full name, which I've never revealed up to this point, well, I have, if I've, like, commented you and stuff on blog and stuff, then you know my name. But my name is Astrid, and my last name is Henry, and I don't have a middle name. And it's actually kind of sad because I used to want a middle name. Um, favorite pizza topping. I like pizza with lots of veggies on top, but I also like it when I have chicken on my pizza. So, I don't know, something like that. But I really like pizza with peppers and stuff. Favorite comedian? I don't have one. I'm really bad with comedians. Um, I don't know, my boyfriend is always like, Hey, babe, you gotta look at this, you gotta watch this, and sending me stuff. And, ha uh -huh, it's hilarious, but, I don't know, I'm just not really good with favorites at all. Favorite radio station? Another one, favorite. I don't know, I don't, I'm, like I said, I'm bad with favorites, but, at work, when we were driving around, we always used to have a radio station most of the time, either on Cut 97 or Power 1051, and got sick of hearing the same songs over and over and over again, because all I did was drive around and listen to the radio, and uh, I'm not really listening to the radio right now. So, do you prefer hamburgers or cheeseburgers? Cheeseburgers, I love cheese. Have you ever had an all-nighter? Yes, many, many times. I have stayed up a lot of times to study all night long, because I'm a huge procrastinator, but I'm trying not to do that anymore, so I'm trying to change, you know, I'm trying to actually study early and actually sleep, but a lot of times I stay up for no reason, even if I'm not studying, and my face is itchy. What is your eye color? My eye color is brown. Brown, it's brown. <laughs> it's very brown. Okay. Um, and I think the last question was something about soda. 
<laughs> I don't know, but um, I don't, I'm trying not to drink soda. Water all the way, woohoo! Okay, now I'm gonna have to go chop this video.